wanted to start off today with uh, saying a, a special hello to uh, Ken and Lisa. There was a uh, there's a couple Ken and Lisa in uh, Minnesota. In fact, they're from Apple Valley, Minnesota, and they were on the EarthCam site and posting in the Hall of Fame, and they mentioned that they are both deaf and how much they enjoy the snowman cam and asked if I could uh, say hello to them. And I don't know any sign language, so I made up a sign. And uh, I want to thank Tracy from the UK because they had, they had put this in EarthCam six or seven days ago and I didn't see it. I usually keep up on those. I try to flip through them, but uh, there's been so many people posting, which is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. But uh, it's been hard for me to go back through and see every single posting because there were hundreds and hundreds of them to go through. But Tracy, thank you. You took the time to, to go back through and find them, told me where it was at. I went back, I saw their post, and I, I made up a little sign. So if anybody can, uh, chickadees are coming in now. Uh, if anybody can go ahead and save this and post it to the Hall of Fame, it would be great. I'd, I'd love for them to see it. So I'm going to come in close so you can read it. I'm not really sure how close I should get. So it just says, hello to Ken and Lisa in Apple Valley, Minnesota. Thanks for watching. So it's, it's great to have you here. I wish you could hear all the sounds of nature. It makes it uh, even more enjoyable, but I'm certainly glad that uh, you're enjoying just, just watching it. Okay, uh, got a few things I want to mention. Uh, one thing that I noticed that has been really helpful uh, in the chat room on, the, on my site, snowmancam.com, uh, I'm seeing it in EarthCam site, I'm seeing it on the Facebook pages, uh, people answering each other's questions, and I really appreciate that, because as, as much as I try to get in there and answer them, it, it's getting where I just, I, I don't have the time to get to all of them, so it really pleases me as I'm going through and looking at them to see that other people have taken the time to answer questions, and if I see somebody maybe that has answered it in a way that isn't completely correct, I'll certainly clarify it, but uh, other than that, you guys have been doing just a great job of doing that, so thank you very much. Uh, I thought a chickadee left me a present, but it was a big snowflake. Okay, um, so again, thank you for that. Uh, I want to uh, also let Norman Sheldon in Rochester Hills know that uh, I just talked to Richard, and your purchase has uh, been mailed, so you'll probably be seeing that tomorrow or the next day. So Sheldon, thank you very much. Appreciate that purchase, and enjoy your little snowman magnet. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, your purchase qualified you to get a free one of those, so that uh, watch for that. I know I really like mine. Mine's stuck on the refrigerator at home. And if any, anybody wants to see what I'm talking about, uh, Connie in Dallas, Texas, made up these snowman heads. They're actually very cool. And I think I ca called them cross-stitch, but I don't think that's really the right term. And I, I'm not sure what it is. I, I know somebody will, will tell me what it is, but it's where you have that plastic mesh and you cut it out and then I think you weave yarn through it uh, into whatever design you want. Well, Connie has made a bunch of those up, shipped them to us, and uh, we're going to be donating uh, those to anybody that makes a purchase of $15 or more. And uh, We've got a nice magnet on the back. They're actually pretty cool, but if you want to see them, if you go to snowmancam.com and just click on store, uh, scroll down a little bit and you'll see a picture of exactly what I'm talking about. I also want to let uh, Rosemarie in Germany know that uh, your navy blue hoodie uh, is on order. Uh, we actually sold out of the navy blue uh, hoodie, and uh, so Richard told me today that uh, he put in a, an order, I think, for 14 more. So if anybody's interested in the uh, navy blue hoodies, they're uh, going to be back in stock here as soon as as soon as we get them. And, uh, pick those up by going to the, the store and stonemancam.com. I also want to let people know I posted this last night that uh, neighbors of mine that live about an hour or an hour, about a mile uh, east of here uh, saw the, uh, the mama bear and her two cubs that had been coming in here about a month or so ago. And uh, so they have not hibernated. They're alive and doing well. Uh, where 
they're at and uh, is, like I said, east of me and where the bear, for the most part, spend their winters is to the west of me. So there's a real good chance that those bears on their way to their hibernating spots will be stopping back through here maybe for one more snack. So it, it could be tonight, could be tomorrow, it might not be at all. But uh, I know we have seen them in early December before, so there, there still is a good chance that uh, you'll get a chance to see the bear uh, before they hibernate for the winter. And I think that's all I have. I noticed somebody was asking about the uh, yellow ribbon on the tree back there. I'm going to be taking that down. Uh, I was just using that to block that section off so somebody would not park down in there. So that will come down. And I think that's all I have. As always, I appreciate... Oh, I just remembered I saw a little woodpecker come in here too. We have three variety of woodpeckers here. Uh, we have downy woodpeckers. Uh, we have pileated, which are the great big ones. And I'm drawing a blank on one of the other ones. But there's three different sizes. So you'll see little woodpeckers, you'll see medium-sized woodpeckers, and then you'll see a real good-sized woodpecker. And I've got, I've got three suet feeders out. That's what they really like. But I've got a bigger one, but I need to buy a bulk suet for that. It holds quite a bit. And I like to make sure that the bear are gone for sure because they love that big suet feeder and they will tear it down and destroy it. So once I know they're gone for sure, I'll put that up and that'll keep the woodpeckers happy because they, they will be here all winter, so you'll get a chance to see them. And uh, I think that's all. I don't remember any other questions that were on the site, but uh, if you had them, you know, feel free to, to post them. Feel free to email me. Uh, I always respond to the emails. Usually within a day, I, I get back with the books when you email me. So that's all I have. Uh, hope you're warm. There, as we speak, you probably just saw the woodpecker, one of the, the small ones there, just land on the feeder. Uh, hope you're warm and safe and dry where you're at, well fed. And uh, as always, I'll uh, do my best on this end to uh, keep the animals fed. Uh, that goes for all you two little chickadees. So you can't see them, but they're jumping on the feeder right here and then flying to the tree above to eat their seeds. I, I love chickadees. They're, they're so polite. You'll never see a chickadee fight. Uh, there's a red squirrel on the tree right there that just ran away. Uh, yeah, chick chickadees, they're, they're just great little birds. They fly to the feeder very politely take one seed out, they fly up to the branch, they eat that seed, and then they wait their turn to come back down. So they, uh, I, I just really like them. Now you can see the woodpecker, he's on the other side of the little stomach. So, all right, that's all I have for today. Make it a great day, and I will talk with you tomorrow. Take care.